other academics talk about this inside out versus outside in sort of thinking. So, you know, a brand isn't what we say it is. It's what ultimately what the consumers say it is, no matter what we do. And there's mm -hmm. these two terms that get sort of get floated around, brand identity and brand image. Can you explain what they are? Rotor Estate Brute from the Anderson Valley. Like a nun's... Cheers, and thanks for coming on the show. Cheers. Um, there's probably a distinction in terms of your identity might be something you talk about internally at, at, at the company. Like we want to be the blah, 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 the premier blah, blah, blah. And these are our values, blah, blah, blah. But you project to the world about what your brand kind of looks and feels like. So if you're a, a fancy champagne company and you have an image to uphold, then you make sure to have really ritzy events and you uh, are the people who sponsor the Lamborghini shows and things like that. And so you create this image. Now, I'm a firm believer uh, that the, the inside and the outside should be as close as possible because otherwise you get kind of schizoid. Um, and so when it comes to the science, the science suggests that first of all, most people have no clue what your brand image is. Most people don't give a damn. Most people are too busy worried about what's for dinner or why is the dog barking or, you know, are my parents okay? And, and uh, there's lots of evidence to show that people have very, very little image of a brand before they buy it that actually most people's perceptions of a brand only really start to kick in after they've bought it. And before that, it's just, eh, I don't know. It's maybe a logo. I've maybe heard of it. And you don't have strong feelings either way. So the brand image is actually much, much more important for people who've already bought you, which gets us to an interesting little tidbit from brand science. When we think about the function of advertising, one of the secret functions of advertising is to reinforce people's past purchases, not to get them to buy you again. So the, the brand image actually often matters a lot more to your current buyers than to your future buyers. The best case scenario is that those things are basically the same. That Rotary Estate wants to be a premium brand. They present themselves, their image as one, and then in, and the identity is also presented as a premium brand. The times that it's bad is when you're presenting yourself as A and people see you as Q.